was playing about earlier, as usual, with the big boys power supply. I was trying to pop one of these big halide lamps. It's only a 400 watt lamp, but every time, right, I overpower it, it melts the inner wires down the bottom. It stops it from working. You might just make that out. It melts them wires every time. So I took one out right, and I overpowered it. And it was that bright, honestly. Look, it's even got bulge in it. It almost pops, but it just cut out because the pressure in there got too much. So I want to try it again. But this time I want to try it with a mercury lamp. But the problem I've got, the iris on the camera just shuts down. It doesn't look that bright on camera, but in actual fact it is blinding. It is, I put about 3 kilowatts through this little 400 watt thing, hoping for a bit of an explosion. Almost at it, just started to bulge there, and then it stopped and this glowed red for absolutely ages. So I'm going to go again, but with a mercury lamp, but I'm not sure whether we're going to aim the camera at the actual lamp or the room. Because if I aim it at the lamp, it just don't look that bright. Um, so, just have to get it started, see what we can do. That's it there, on uh, pretty normal power. I'm just going to adjust this camera slightly. Because if I actually aim it at the actual lamp and increase the power, the iris just shuts down. But if I double the power to the camera, it doesn't look any different. But to the room, the rest of the room, as the iris opens up, it will look quite impressive. So I'll just keep that there. And add a bit more power. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Right, I'm going to double that again. Have a look on the old camera. Yeah, I need it over here, really, don't I? I know it's not much to look at, but you'd be able to see the intensity better. Quite smell ozone coming off that quartz tube. Right, I'm just going to crank that up a bit, I think. I'm getting out of the way. That is bright. Oh dear. Got a bit of a problem. 